This is a very short Amy question, and it's from 2015 Amy 2, and, it's, and it is problem 3. Let m be the least positive integer, so least positive, the smallest, mm -hmm. divisible by 17. So we know written in mod 17, it is congruent to 0 in mod 17. All I'm writing is when you're dividing by 17, mod is basically when you divide by you are going to get a remainder of zero. So mod is same thing as the remainder you get when you're dividing by this number. So in mod 17, since m is divisible by 17, the remainder, the remainder is going to be zero. So we know that. So let's continue. And we know their digit sum to 17. So we know written in mod 9, mod 9, the m has to be 17. And the reason is, uh, so what I'm saying is when you divide it by 9, when you divide m by 9, the remainder you're going to get is 17 or subtracting 9, 8. So when you divide m by 9, the remainder you get is 8. And you may say, why? So let's consider a number, let's say 361. Dividing by 9 gets you a remainder of 1. Now let's try adding up the digits. So what's 3 plus 6 plus 1? Well, that's 10. Dividing that by 9 also gets you a remainder of 1. So what this is showing you is that the sum of the digits, the sum of the digits and the, and the number itself, so the sum of the digits of a number and the original number have the same, same remainder when you divide by 9. So the number itself is going to have remainder of 17 or 8 when you divide by 9. So let's continue. And since 17 and 9, 17 and 9 are relatively prime, which means they do not share any common divisors, you can figure out what m is. There is one unique value for m in mod 17 times 9. And 17 times 9 is 153, and this is directly from Chinese remainder theorem. So what do we know? What does m has to be congruent to in mod 153? Well, you know, m has to be multiple of 17 because it is divisible by 17. So m can be congruent to either 17 or 17 times 2, 34, 17 times 3, 51, and so on. Which one is it? Well, we want the one whose whose mod 9 gets us 8. So when you add up the when you add these two up, when you add up the add up the digits, you want to get 8 when you when you want to get 8 or when you divide it by 9, you want to get 8. So 1 plus 7 gets you 8, which is good. 3 plus 7, 4 gets you 7. 5 plus 1 gets you 6. And it's going to be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And it's going to rotate. So 17 is the only one that we want. So for 17, mod 17 is going to get us 0. Dividing by 9 gets you a remainder of 8. So we want this thing to be congruent to 17 when you divide by 153. So we know m can be 1... 17 or another number that when you divide by 153 gets you a remainder of 17 is 153 plus 17 or 153 times 2 plus 17 and so on. So let's evaluate this. For 17, the digits do not sum to 17, so 17 is out. 153 plus 17 is 170, 170 and digits sum to 8, so that's out. And you add another 153 to this. And that's going to get us 323 digits sum to 8. So that's out. Add another 153. So that's, that's not mathematically equivalent. So let, let me just do it. Add another 153. Gets us 476. And the digits sum to 17. So we are done. Our answer is 476.